Okay, so I finally made time to do this video. It's been an entire week since I got my Dominican blowout. It was the first time I ever had um, the process done. I was very pleased with the results. Um, so there wasn't um, a lot of shedding or breakage throughout the process. Um, but I did thoroughly uh, enjoy the process. They were speedy when I got there. I was like, oh, hell to the nah. Because there was like 25 chicks in there. It was literally standing room only when I got in there. And there was only, what, four stylists and a shampoo girl. And I was like, oh, no. I almost walked out. I swear. But I was like, it's Thanksgiving. I want to treat myself. I normally only um, straighten my hair once a year anyway. It's normally around Christmas time. I did a little early this year. Um, just because I was really excited to see how it looked. And um, I almost left, but I was like, dude, I'm already here, whatever. Um, and I literally got out of there in less than three hours. Less than three hours I got out of there. It was amazing. I mean, they were proficient. Um, I mean, just the process of it. Even when things may have gotten a little backed up, they have little mobile stations. And the shampoo girl would come out and put people's rollers in to get them started um, before the stylist actually got them detained. Because there were a lot of naturals in there, which I, was, I loved. Um... They were pleasant, uh, they were courteous, they were quick, affordable. It was only $45. Um, I mean, it was just amazing. I really loved it. I have never, ever in my life, in the history of my life, <laughs> had a good experience with a hair salon. And there was nothing wrong with them. They were professional, and I hate when they eat around me. So I love the fact that they cleared the salon and then ordered their pizza to eat, you know, after they've closed up shop. I love that. Don't eat around me. Take a lunch break, you know, set out an appointment time in the middle of the day for an hour or whatever, and have your lunch in that time. Don't put me under the dryer and then go eat your food and laugh and gossip and forget I'm under there. I hate that. Anyways, I love them. Ramona's Beauty Salon on Southside Boulevard. You know, if you live in the Jackson. Okay. It's like barely armpit length. Now, I did get a trim, but it was not a major trim. I mean, she took probably a quarter of an inch or so. I'm not sure how much she took off, but I know it wasn't a lot. So I'm like, this is so crazy right now. It's like nowhere. And then the back, the back is, um, let me see. The back is like not even, well, I, I'm not wearing a bra right now. It's like grazing bra strap, you know? And I had in my mind, I was already made back length. So that's a little, so that's a little disappointing. So, I don't really know what that's about. I don't know what that's what that's about. Um, and I've been doing really good. I've been taking my vitamins, uh, religiously, two vitamins every day. Now, um, like I said, I've been utilizing my protective styles. I've been eating well. Um, I, I don't know. So yesterday I was really thinking about it and I realized several things, which I'm not sure if it's attributed to this or not, but I'm gonna definitely find out. Here's what I'm thinking. My uh, protective styles have been primarily two strand twists, um, but I've had them on stretched hair. So I was misting my hair with water, but I used to co-wash. I used to co-wash at least three times a week. Um, at one point I was doing it every single day. Um, but as my hair got thicker, it began and wearing like buns and stuff, my hair wasn't completely drying all the way. And it was getting like a sour smell, even though I was washing it every day. So I stopped co-washing every day and I was doing like every other day. Um, and just because my hair was shrinking so much, I stopped doing it. And I was doing it like once a week, but misting my hair with water every day. And so now I don't mist it with water every day. It's just like slowly I'm slipping in that department. So um, in the upcoming months... I'm going to, after um, I wash my hair, obviously, from this, so I'm going to get my money's worth, I'm going to go back to, I'm debating if I'm going to do it with the two strand twists or if I'm going to do it with the braids. More than likely, I'm going to do it with the braids. I stopped doing braids because they're so time consuming to put in and even more time consuming to take out. And I feel like I experience more shedding. Obviously, your hair is going to shed if you've had a protective style for the two or three months that I leave it in. But what I was thinking was it was less shedding when I do two strand twists. Now, what I'm thinking is that's not true. It's that I'm leaving it in less time. When I do my two strand twists, I max leave them in five to six weeks. That's the max. I normally leave them in three to four. 
But with my braids, I would never leave them in less than four weeks, ever. I would always leave them in for two or three months. And so obviously the shedding is going to be more. Um, and it's just, I will leave them in so much longer because it's so much more time consuming to put in to take out, which is good because, you know, it's less manipulation. Um, and also it's easier to co-wash with braids because there's not, there's some shrinkage obviously, but it's not as much shrinkage as with the two strand twists. So I'm going to go back to my braids, co-washing three times a week. Um, and, um, what else? <laughs> what else is it? I forgot. It was a variety of things that, oh yeah. So I dressed two, that was two in one, the water, um, as far as, you know, misting my hair and co-washing, I didn't get back to that, back to the braids instead of the twists and the buns. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Drinking water. I have not been drinking my water. Oh my God it's like I used to get cases and cases like every time I go to the store I get like two or three cases of water because I don't like to grocery shop a lot I get a ton of food and then I'm done for the month so I get lots of water because I would drink two or three bottles a day um, and my husband drinks a lot of water too so that's why I would get so much but um we're separated by the way anyways um yeah so I was getting a lot of water and then all of a sudden I stopped getting it um, because one, he was tired of only drinking water, so we started getting the little crystal light packs because you don't have to add sugar, so they're still healthy. It's not a soda, it's not Kool Aid. Um, and then also, we got a little water cooler thing where you get the big jugs of water put in there, which is awesome, way cheaper. Except I never remember to take that jug to the grocery store to fill it up, and the jugs are so big and bulky and heavy, I never pick up a new one at the store. So, I literally have not been drinking water for like a month now. Except when I'm at my mom's house because she always has water bottles. Now, this is bull crap. Okay, I got to get back to my water bottles. You know, if, if I'm not going to get around to getting that big jug again to fill the system, oh well, I'm going to have to get back to my water bottles. What the freak? Because at one time I was drinking a half a gallon of water a day. Um, and so I need to get back to my water. Uh, not only that but um my diet right now and this is only for the past week and before that i was eating really good boneless skinless chicken breast lots of salmon sway tilapia um loads and loads of spinach i'm still eating my spinach um and broccoli and you know just doing really good as far as that lots of tuna um but because i'm moving um i'm not replenishing my groceries i'm trying to eat up everything i have so that that's less stuff for me to take which is still gonna be a lot because i shop at costco so there's still going to be boxes and boxes of pasta and spaghetti sauces and that kind of stuff but as far as perishables in the fridge i'm trying to get rid of all that stuff so i'm not restocking and now i'm kind of i don't know why my computer just turned itself on <laughs> but um um turn this to close stuff i don't know um I'm eating more pantry food, you know, so I'm eating noodles, I am eating tuna, um, but I'm not getting that well-balanced overall full meal like I was before. And, um, and my nails, my nails were snagging at my hair, which I totally had that problem before, so I chopped my nails completely to freak off. My nails are really like long witch nails, which I love those nails, so whatever, for the hell of my hair. So, um... That is that. Those are the changes that I'm going to make. Now, one, you know, getting back to the old way of doing things. Um, I'm debating if I want to go back to the whole conditioner thing. Um, I used to just leave conditioner in my hair. Like, that was my moisturizer. I would use a lot, a lot of conditioner left into my hair. Um, and I'm thinking I don't really want to go back to that. I think I'm going to stick with the whole water, moisturizer, grapeseed oil mix. I think that part of the regimen is very good. Um, but like I said, adding that co-washing element more into my routine, the deep conditioning. I bought a tabletop pull-out deep conditioner to get back to my deep conditioning routine. <clears throat> um, yeah, the, the one thing that, like I said, I'm kind of getting back to the basics. But the one new aspect I kind of want to add to it is this thing that I heard from Tori Deanna 777 which is the hair teas. They're teas, little baggy teas that you brew um, on the stove and you can ingest my hair goal before my enlistment is up. My enlistment is up February 22nd, 2015 and I really, really want to be waist length by then. It's really, really tempting to add color to my hair 
because my hair, my hair, it, I don't know why. It looks really, really dark, but up close, um, even in the house, but especially in the sun, it's a sandy, brownish, reddish kind of color. Um, and I always thought that that was from getting the relaxers and then being in the sun, but it's not because my hair is obviously completely 100% natural. Um, has been for about two and a half years. And that color is still there but it doesn't show up like now my hair looks freaking jet black so um i really wanted to do like the whole ombre thing and get like the tips a pretty coppery kind of brown but i'm only about growth right now <laughs> i'm only about growth so i'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize that at this point um so yeah and it and the black does look really sleek especially um in a style like this so now positives my hair is thick because they flat ironed it freaking bone freaking straight um and it still looks very very full um which i love it's very very shiny which you saw the less than dime size amount of oil that i put on it a tiny tiny bit um and it's very very and i'm not doing that every day i'm doing it every two to three days and it's very 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 shiny is super super soft even in its, in its um natural state my hair is way softer than it's been <clears throat> ever um so that part you know my hair is not dry at all um nor has it been feeling dry at all um my the health of my hair i mean it's really really thriving it's excellent and for me to have not had a before this trim i literally had not had a trim in like two years so the fact that she only had to take off you know a quarter or a half an inch to me speaks volumes about my regimen because i told her you know take off she asked me and do i want to trim now do i want to wait do i want a little you know whatever and i let her know you know if it needs to be trimmed take off what needs to come off and um from what i saw she she trimmed it very little you know like i said at the most at the most three quarters of an inch or so um but you know me i'm really bad about um links of measurement i, I can't look at something until i've it but it didn't seem like she cut off a lot um and it definitely wasn't a major trend like i said and so that means that i am doing a good job of um keeping my health healthy and uh the maintenance routine is solid um, these are just ways to improve. I tried something new, which was to utilize the protective styles, um, but to wash a little less. Um, like I said, to combat that kind of mildewy smell. Um, <clears throat> uh, but now I'm thinking maybe I had it, you know, right the first time, you know, um, but just whatever I'm not gonna go to this whole thing again the whole point is I'm happy my hair is healthy but I'm looking for ways to increase the growth potential so this is um where my hair is right now the growth potential so this is um where my hair is right now um, uh as far as the whole personal tip with the separation and all that I'm going to um, do a series of videos about um, the progression and the downfall of that situation um, all the lessons that I've taken from it um, and the lessons that I hope to take from it um, and just give some insight on that situation <clears throat> but I'm not going to do it on this channel this channel is especially or specifically for hair growth I would have done it on my old channel Queen Cliff after 0606 but as you may or may not know I've been locked in that account for more than a year they won't something to do with that google crap and they won't give me my password and stuff so whatever but i'm gonna start a new channel um i'm still debating on the title i'm thinking ranting and raving um but i'm not sure about that so there will be blogs about that and about several other things as well as um chronicling um my poetry i'm really back to writing um and there are lots of pieces that i already had written that i've found since i'm moving and packing up all my things that i plan to read um so that's going to be awesome look out for that and i'm hoping to do it once i get settled in my new place i'm moving this saturday which will be the first of december um and it'll take me probably a week or so to get situated and then i'll get back to posting these videos as well as um building up the new channel so any questions, comments, concerns, or tips, let me know.